Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I uh, am finally getting around to building the Airblade Assault and I'll just go over the uh, parts here that I'll be using and as always the parts list will be in the description below. So here's the uh, frame itself and the shield right here. There's the bottom plate. Put that aside. The uh, PDB I'm going to be using is this Diatone. It's like a micro PDB as a 5-volt um, uh, and a 12-volt regulator here. So we got 5 volts out here on the side and 12 volts here. And the nice thing about this PDB is that the ESC uh, pads are next to each other. Uh, the positives and negatives are next to each other instead of on the other um, PDBs I've been using where, let me show you, the positives and negatives are Here's an example, are on one side, so in this PDB, which only has a fi two 5 volt regulators, all the positives are on one side and all the negatives are on the other side, which makes all the wires crisscross and makes the wires longer, adds more weight. This is a newer one that just came out recently, and um, uh, it's pretty nice. It's got the positives and negatives next to each other. It's got a battery in here, and it comes with a 12 volt and a 5 volt um, filtered uh, power outputs here. The next part I'll be showing you is the NACE32 with no pins. Pretty much you need uh, to uh, solder everything directly for this tiny build. Going to be using this uh, uh, video transmitter. It's a 200 milliwatt, uh, 5.8 gigahertz and I've, I've featured this on my channel before and uh, I've used that on some other builds. Use a FreeSky D4R2 and I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna take the pins off yet or not, I'll decide that uh, if I need more room I'll, I'll depin this, but if not then I'll leave them on. Gonna be using the 20 amp uh, little b ESCs and uh, these DYS, let's see if I can get that to focus, 1306, 4000 KV motors, and there's a, another video that I did that uh, did some motor testing comparisons between this 1306, 4000 KV and the uh, older 1306, 3100 KV. And this is the camera that I've been waiting for, it's a, a Pico camera. And it's going to fit right inside the shield here. Just like, like so. And uh, there's really no easy way to mount this, so I'm probably just going to hot glue it. So, um, this build's going to be uh, kind of long, so I'm going to try and speed up some portions of the video where it's not that interesting probably where I'll be doing some soldering and then I will um, pause at certain points and uh, go over some of the work that I've done so you may want to if you want, uh, are bored with the, uh, the sort of the sped up video then just kind of fast forward through it and then you can try and find the spots where I'm talking about the uh, things that I've worked on because uh, in this tiny build there's probably going to be a lot of spots where I'm going to talk about the uh, little uh, workarounds that I've worked, I uh, have come to come up with, or uh, some other solutions, creative, <laughs> creative or otherwise, that uh, I've used to get this build to work. So, hang in there, and I'll be right back.